Hello, and welcome to this special Anthrocon edition of Fur Gear. We apologize, but we could not bring you all a car to test around our track. But then, there's really not many free, reasonably scripted cars here in Second Life. We really did try to find a car. However, we only had a few moments of research while the script was being written in our department of overly worked foxes. And our team of circus-trained pandas could only seem to find us free magic carpets, helicopters, and, bizarrely enough, pirate ships. That being said, however, thanks to Omni, our special ops kitty, we do have a reasonably scripted bike. And with that, it's time to find out what it's like to put an avatar on our bike. For that, our guest tonight, all the way from Dragon Valley, is none other than the fox himself, Foxkin Imfondo. Welcome. Please, have a seat. So the first question of the night. The bike, how did she handle? Well, the bike handled like a dream. She slid in and out of the corners as smooth as fur on a mink. And the acceleration was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like a cheetah mm -hmm. with its tail on fire. So then, I understand that this isn't the first time you've ridden a bike. Well, in my younger days, I did have a Kawasaki that I customized into a cafe racer. Oh. With the ported engine and the high spark system and some racing carbs, that baby would do 140 miles an hour in the quarter mile. I see. So tell us, what about other vehicles? What else do you have experience with? Well, I have my red coupe that I drive back and forth from the conventions. That and my Altarian pedal jumper, but it's getting harder to find fuel for my Nequita generator these days. Sounds like that must have been pretty exciting. So, let's have a look and see how you did. And we're off to a good start as he makes a mad dash from his hotel room to attend the opening ceremonies. He makes his way through the registration line and slings through the dealer's den. He zips on down the art show, weasels his way through the fursuit parade, gives a small performance for the masquerade, laughs hysterically through Two's ranting corners, comes out in awe from Kage's story hour, just in time to hit the headless lounge for a short rest, before closing ceremonies as he saunters back to his hotel room for his final stay. Oh, that was a very good lap. Well, she was a little squirrely in the S-curves, but other than that, quite fun. Well, it seems that you've managed to go around the track faster than, shall we say, Uncle Kage can finish a bottle of wine? That gives me a good feeling. Your time tonight is 54 seconds on the dot. Yes. That means you're the fastest furry on our track. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course, this isn't counting that squirrel that broke in a few weeks back after a double shot of espresso. And on that bombshell, we would like to thank you for watching. A special thanks to Foxkin for coming in. And please, tune in next time. Good night, folks. Thank <laughs> you.